Welcome to the fifth film in our series describing our Chinese adventure in 2002 and the next two films will concentrate on the amazing so-called Jingpeng line between Rishui and Jingpeng. The west of the line is the town of Jingpeng with its station and yard. We visited it yesterday in our rail coach. If we move eastwards, we passed over the curved viaduct, which is extremely photogenic, and then climbing towards the summit of the line and the tunnel. And then we drop down, still going eastwards, towards Rishui and the post office hotel, where we spent our stay. And further east, of course, is Duban and the locomotive works, which we visited yesterday. This little town is typical of the towns that we passed on our way from Duban. Slightly unfinished look about it. Happy folk going about their business and shopping for their daily requirements. That fruit looked very appetising. Apples and plums. But it was extremely cold. After all, we were approaching the winter season. Hence the snow, of course. <laughs> Those two looked uh, yeah. attractive, but we didn't sample them. At least I don't remember having done so. <laughs> yes, and adopted. They're all working, obviously. <laughs> They're all working. This is the same village where we've just bought the apples. They're still alive, I haven't eaten one. We get a view here of Rishui Station, which is east of the town of Rishui. Actually, I think it's a slightly different name than Rishui. I think it's called Galatasaray or some such, but you'll have to forgive my not memorising that. And we're moving further along the line where we shall start our photography. And we start the railway element of this little film at the entrance to the summit tunnel, the east end of the tunnel. The summit is actually in the tunnel, strictly speaking, and the train is climbing, a double-headed freight is climbing from Rishui, from the Daban end of the line, travelling westwards towards Jingpeng. I mentioned in yesterday's film, in fact, that the freight normally carried by trains travelling westward was wood and this one is no exception although it is taking back some coal empties and the wood is towards the rear of the train.
to the same train, just curling round through the valley. The train is now approaching the viaduct at the eastern end of the town of Rishui and disappearing again in the direction of the ban. The climb out of Xingpeng is a long climb across a number of smaller viaducts before it uses the spectacular curved viaduct to cross the end of the valley and then climb again towards the summit of the line. So this is always a long climb. Well, this is a train from Jing Pen going east. Which has to go around in those tortuous circles. I filmed last evening from this way.
the line in the foreground is of course the line which leads across the viaduct but our train that we're watching has to pass further up the other side of the valley before coming round on that line. We should now hurry slightly further east and see the train climbing towards the summit station. This is the same loco, the train. That bloke, you see that in the face of that train? And this is the summit station area just before the entrance to the tunnel.
This is a different train travelling further east. The train we shall see now is a westbound train at the extreme end of the Rashui settlement. That too crosses the valley. The river is dry at the moment, I guess, but uh, it faces the climb.
This is a train, a long-range view of that train, travelling eastwards from Jingpeng. But at the moment, it's travelling in a westerly direction as it negotiates one of the traverses and the resultant terminating curve. This is an early morning trip to visit a, another viaduct just to the west of Jinpeng Station, an area that we've not been to before, a very high viaduct. And we should see two trains. We should see one leaving Jinpeng, going further westwards, and then we should see a train arriving into Jinpeng, which we should then follow further up the line. But it was darn cold, 20 degrees minus centigrade. It was horrific, including the wind chill. I was wrong. Some westbound trains are double-headed.
then ping again. Tremendous, isn't it? Hello, mother. seen that sequence London to Brighton in yeah, four five, minutes, four four minutes. minutes. Yeah. that's what this is like Pass on the left, you pass on the right. This is extreme train spotting, this is. This is the same train that we filmed just now going over the Vardat. So this is just left Jingpeng Station in the, in the yard. And I'm sitting down 
with the waterproof trousers on on a snowy bank and this is what life's all about the old boy of 81 is still staying the course I'll just zoom in on the locos a little and I'll zoom out again in a moment as it crosses the yet another viaduct. Gosh they're working now. I'll just zoom out so that we can see both both of the locos. If that's at all possible. There we are. Well, they've got a little way to go yet. We've not quite got to the Via Dutch yet. Got another 200 yards. You can hear the engine now echoing off the hills. Still going straight across the camera. It'll turn towards us in a minute. just turning onto the viaduct now. See the first one or two spans in a moment. There we are, look, there's the uh, bridge abutment. And here we are, coming now. Gosh, oh. look at that. Two engines must be working differently. Black smoke from one and white smoke from the other. I don't know quite how they synchronise their effort. We haven't visited this location before. This is an intermediate viaduct between Xingpeng and the circular viaduct that we keep, or I keep, referring to. It's an intermediate bridge, but just as interesting. Maybe more so. In a minute you'll see some of the some of the group perched on the hillside. That's what we needed.
back of the train is just coming onto the viaduct, so you can see the length of the train. Disappear from view in a moment. I think. Oh no, I'm wrong. Well, only briefly. It should be the rear of the train just disappearing. No. Changed position there briefly, and then he fell off the seat. Plenty of freight on this one. Variety of wagons. There you are, that's probably the longest, longest shot yet. You can count the wagons if you like. Here comes the brake van in about four wagons time. There we are, one caboose with a fire in the middle of it. Open fire. In the chimney. Coach behind it's got bogged down. May have escaped before nightfall. We've just left it. Almost out into civilization. Oh. Here we are. I think they're waiting to see if the other one emerges. I think they're waiting to see if the other one emerges. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah let him over the one that got stuck. Right, away we go again to somewhere new. This is the same train again. On the big curved viaduct. Puffin and Banzing as I just went up a hill. I can't actually see the locomotive. I can see just the steam, smoke. It must be in there somewhere. Is that it just emerging now? Here we are. Get your eye full of that. Eat your heart out, Dr. Beeching. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. Hopefully the film won't run out. Or the cold get too much for the batteries. That's the problem with the video. It's more windy up here. Well, there's a light come on to tell me that. I'll oh, shut up and you can listen to the trains. No connectors. There's our friend because there's a, a van, a lorry that's turned over with a load of sheep on board. And they're just tipping the sheep out. I don't know whether the engine is actually going to emerge. Oh, there it is. Same loco that we were watching just now. It's climbed round in its spiral. It's re-emerged, approaching the summit. It's got a small cutting to go through in a minute, then it will emerge yet again on an embankment. Here's the cutting, I think. The climb to the summit of the line is not a direct climb after leaving the circular viaduct. There is a valley off to the right into which the railway deviates, follows up one side of the valley, around the head of the valley, through a tunnel and then through a larger tunnel to regain the original route. Road was 
couple of pigs back there. One has got a lead on it. Black pigs. What scenery though. Look at that. Sorry about the jolting. That's the way it is. This is just a bit of infill whilst we wait. We're trying to turn the coach around. Donkey cart being loaded in the background, if you can see it clearly. Behind the trees. Right, this is quite a long sequence because the, the locomotive goes along over a viaduct, then it'll disappear briefly and come out through the tunnel that I mentioned just now. I should think about five minutes. Still the same train. Just to enable you to see the two, the two locos. All these uh, freight trains are double-headed. The passenger train is only a single locomotive, but of course freight trains are very, very much heavier. Right, it'll disappear from view, and then it'll emerge from the tunnel. The siren means it's just entering the tunnel. You can hear it in the tunnel now.
some residual smoke coming out of the tunnel entrance. Some British tunnels have got chimneys on to allow that to happen, but so just imagine what the fireman and driver have to cope with in a long tunnel. Off we go again to yet another vantage point. See you later. This is rural China. This is walking around a very small village. And this is obviously the back of some stabling of some description. One or two animals here. That's the view from these residences. This is my old friend the donkey. I've been giving him some food. I haven't brought any, he knows it as well. Perhaps I'll go and try and find some more. Eat it up then. Go on. That's the way. So perhaps they thought that meant food. I don't know. Another fucking bronco. ubiquitous maize plant used presumably for insulation. Can't see any head still intact. Still animals quarters. This is a gnome taking a picture. 
with his woolly hat on and a thing in his pocket that tells him exactly where he is on earth. At the summit there's a tunnel and this thing will disappear into the tunnel in a minute. Just down below our snow feet. Back at the viaduct again. But it's an afternoon shot, so the light will be different. This is the distant viaduct. The big curling one comes afterwards. Here it comes onto the other viaduct.
shot is better than the previous one. Tremendous. On a model, aircraft, a model railway, a train of that length would try and straighten out, but it doesn't. Right, this is the same loco, climbing towards the summit, travelling eastwards. Working very hard. This is actually right the other side of a valley. If I pan out, you can see what I'm showing you.
nearly at the top of the slope. Gosh, that's immense. Amazing scene because I must have been filming for over five minutes to climb that bank. The buildings in view now are the summit station buildings. another tunnel. At the end of the day, this is a train going east to west. Steam filming will come through downhill as they refer to it. Uh. 